everybody. I am Dolly Vishwas, Chief Nursing Officer, Forty Healthcare, Kolkata. It's my proud privilege today to speak before you on the occasion of Nurses Day 2022. And I would like to congratulate Biological Limited, who have taken the effort to wish the entire nursing fraternity of India. The International Nursing Federation has chosen a very apt theme this year, which is a voice to lead, invest in nursing, respect the rights to secure global health. We all know that the nursing staff, they are tremendously working throughout the year, every moment and every time with the patient, 24 into 7. Right from bedside patient care, taking decisions, educating the patient, like a counselor, advocator, educator, instructor, the staff are taking care of. We cannot forget the three COVID pandemic wave which we have just overcome. During the first wave when everybody were not sure what is to be done and where to stand, which protocol to be used. We used to get lot of process, lot of dictum from the government in the state or the central. Making them aware, understanding each and everything, simultaneously taking care of all the COVID patients. Some were critical, some were in the wards. But working 24 into 7 and simultaneously getting affected with the COVID infection, still the bugs did not stop. We have taken, we have admitted the patients and taken, taken care of them. This, during the second wave, the entire world has affected much more than the first. And then came the second wave. And we have seen how effectively the nurses have taken care of the patient. It's not only taking care at the bedside, but each and every moment connecting with the family, explaining the conditions and understanding the patient's need and mitigating as early as possible and sending them home with a smile. So all this paid so much. And we have seen when the whole world has seen how nurses are continuously at the side of the patients. The respect we have earned, the dignity which projected in front of the public, which is remarkably high. And because of that, respect the rights of the nursing fraternity are very, very important and we all have to take care. If the organizations or the nation or the world takes care of the rights of the nurses, we know that the entire global health will be secure. If we look after the nurses well, if we take care of their living conditions, the salaries, the wages, the facilities that are being provided, if we look after all this, obviously every nurse will feel very much empowered to look after the patients and to take care of the global health. When we talk about the empowerment, it says everything. Empowering nurses will helps to take the decisions for the betterment of the patients, to understand or to clinically judge the treatment that have been prescribed by the doctors, whether the, the treatments to be initiated immediately or it needs more understanding, more communications with the consultant and by understanding the overall or holistically to the patient. Asking or demanding something for the patients is one way of empowering nurses for the safety, for the security of the health of the patients who are admitting in the hospital or the nurses taking care in the community. So I would like to say that protecting the rights of the nurses is not only the responsibility of the organizations, but it is the responsibility which is up there in front of everyone. The nurses are working with the patients continuously without even bothering their own health, their own needs. When we see that a patient 
is critically ill, suffering on the bed, maybe having cold blues, cardiac arrest, the way nurses are spending, resuscitating and making the patients again heal and going back to the home is, is giving tremendous satisfaction in the mind which is improving the inner self-esteem. So I would like to say that we really have to voice for nursing rights, respect and we need to invest as much as possible for the betterment of the nurses of the entire nation and the world. When the first baby born, the nurse takes in her lap, in her hand, cleans the baby, allows to feed the baby by the mother, taking care of the mother, taking care of each and every progress of the baby. Similarly, when a patient is ill on a bed, till the last breath, a nurse who actually understand and mitigate each and every problems and plans the care accordingly. So here we see nurses play a very, very vital role in any healthcare industry or for the nation. In every organization, 65% of the employee are the nurses. So it is the foremost important responsibility if we want to maintain the quality care, if we want to maintain the standard, if we want to maintain the uh, standard of magnetic hospital, if we want to get different accreditations, be it NABH, Nursing Excellency or the JCI, we need to empower the nursing team of the organization because every nitty gritty of the organizations takes care by the nurses. Every procedures, standards, documentations, maximum we can say 75 percentage are takes care by the nursing team. So it is very important and it's very much necessary that we must take care of the nursing fraternity in the organization and we must look after the rights of the nurses and take care of their health status and the requirement that they are having. Also, I would like to highlight one great initiative that is going on now is the vaccination drive entirely taken care by the nurses of the country. Vaccinations not only going on in the hospital industry, in the community and in a very difficult situations where there were a natural calamity, flood, nurses did not stop to vaccinate the entire people of the country. So this is a great move that entire nursing staff of the country are taking care of the vaccination drive and which did not stop, which is still going on because the first dose, second dose, the booster and the pediatric cases which are now getting vaccinated are entirely taken care by the nurses. So this is one of the great initiative and I acknowledge this initiative. So I would like to wish from core of my heart once again a very, very happy Nurses Day. And I would like to thank you Biologically Limited for giving me a chance to speak and to wish the entire nursing fraternity a happy Nurses Day 2022. Thank you very much.